Hello everyone, welcome back to the Roundtable. My name is Tom and I hope you're having a good day. My seasonal affective disorder is hitting early this year, but I'm still here trying to live regardless. So as some of you guys know, I've been known to advocate for a fairly popular French cartoon titled Miraculous Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir. The show has been airing around the world since 2015. Here in the States, it was on Nickelodeon for a moment before moving to Netflix where you can watch it now, or you can find episodes there in Europe already around the web. Honestly, I'm still figuring out different ways to watch the show. Moving on though, something I've discovered from being a fan of Miraculous is that the show is not for everybody. I've come across a lot of people who don't like it, which is fine, but don't be one of those miserable people that's gotta be up in my business because I enjoy it. Let people do their thing, man. Like, let, let people like things, okay? Like, just chill out. The news I have to bring to you, however, has nothing to do with the animated show, rather, the property of Miraculous itself. Skydance, the company has brought us technical masterpieces including installments to the Terminator and Mission Impossible series, as well as the cinematic adaptation of World War Z, has acquired the live-action film and television rights to Miraculous. Skydance has expressed that they're already planning to make adaptations based on the series, projecting a 2020 release date. So as a fan of the source material, many of you may be wondering, or not, what my thoughts are on this news. Well, as usual, I'm staying somewhat optimistic. I don't want to get worked up over the possibility that this might not be good, because people do that a lot on the internet, and boy is it obnoxious. At the same time though, I gotta be honest, my expectations aren't too high. As someone who read the book World War Z, I wasn't a fan of the movie. It seemed like they loosely based it on the source material to make a zombie movie that was more spectacle than horror to the point where I couldn't even take it seriously. Because the book played out like a realistic mockumentary about the effects of a zombie apocalypse on the lives of different people from all around the world, and it made it really disturbing. But the movie played out like Brad Pitt being a big strong family man teaming up with the government to fight zombies. So my fate in the same production company to adapt one of my favorite animated shows is not super strong. Also, the fact that Skydance mostly has a gallery of films that are macho action movies for bros makes me wonder how they plan to pull off an adaption of Miraculous, a show that has a demographic which doesn't really line up with what I just said. I'm hoping that maybe the studio is trying to go in a new direction with new people working on their projects who want to make something unlike anything the studio has made before, because if they try to do like a Terminator disaster movie style adaptation of Miraculous, it's gonna lose the tone that people love it for, and I honestly am not sure who that movie or series would even be for at that point. But if they go in a direction that complements what people love about the property, it could be really cool to see some of the elements of the Miraculous world brought into live action. Hopefully they pull this off, but I want to hear from you guys. Do you think a live action Miraculous will work under these circumstances? Let us know in the comments below. Next in the news, we continue to talk about adaptations of cute animated shows. A Care Bears reboot is coming to Boomerang. The 80s cartoon is returning on Cartoon Network's retro streaming service with Care Bears Unlock the Magic. Cloud Co Entertainment, formerly known as American Greetings Entertainment, is already producing 48 11 minute episodes and two 22 minute specials for the series, which is a lot. I know Care Bears is a beloved property, but wow. For a reboot going on a streaming service that most people don't even have, that's pretty bold. But wait, Cloudco isn't just working on this new series for Care Bears, but also a film with an unnamed major studio. So long story short, Care Bears is looking to make a comeback, probably trying to cash in on the 80s nostalgia wave that's lingering in modern pop culture. All that aside, what do we know about this Care Bears reboot so far? The new show sets out to have the Care Bears explore the world outside of their home, encountering new creatures and using their powers in new ways. They'll also be joined by a new companion named Dibble, who will act as a pet for the Care Bears. She looks like a blob. So that's a thing. I honestly don't know enough about the Care Bears to have that much to say about this other than, uh, we'll see how this goes. But what do you guys think? Do you want to see the Care Bears come back into the mainstream? Let us know in the comments below. Or you can tweet me at TommyPQM, and you can also hit us up at Roundtable Vids on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. If you want to help us grow, please check out our Patreon to get perks like your name at the end of our videos, or even a shout out for your channel, blog, or whatever you want to promote. Make sure you like this video, share it with your friends, and if you haven't already, hit subscribe and click the bell to never miss a video. My name is Ben Tom, and we'll see you next time.